Welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Baba, and we're going into round two of this Theros Phantom Sealed event. And my opponent for round two is Jay Glantzman. And, hmm. I don't know. We're a pretty... Are we aggressive? Are we mana heavy? We'll play last. And we'll keep this. If we can get uh, Pukronos and make him large. He could be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hmm. Pretty much right off the bat. So we'll give that a shot. All right, so he keeps, we'll keep. <clears throat> he plays a swamp, play a forest. An unblockable 7-7 seven, is pretty good. Hmm. An unblockable 9-9 nine, nine is pretty good. That's what I call all of my eggs in one basket, I guess. Uh-oh. Miss a land drop. <clears throat> there he goes. Fellhide Minotaur. Not scary. <clears throat> Alright, we're not doing anything silly here. Probably just make him unblockable and attack with him. And use Feral Invocation. Yeah. <clears throat> Gosh, or we could use Time to Feed, right? There's not too many big favors there. Hmm. Hmm. We'll leave up some mana for battle-wise valor. Just in case. I don't think that was going to go well for him. Alright. And we don't really have anything that even resembles a sideboard plan, much less any cards that we can put in um, as a sideboard. So uh, we just submit. Uh, we had good green and white cards, but we had very shallow pools in green and white. So. Um, we're pretty much playing all of them except for that artisan who's uh, not very playable, so there you go. Alright, so Jay Glansman chooses to play last. We get a three lander, which I'm pretty happy with here, so we'll keep that. Um, we'll actually play the planes first, just in case we get a phalanx leader we want to throw down on turn two. And if we don't, we can get this Traveling Philosopher on turn two. It's a perfectly acceptable bear. And he 
we'll have to do. Oh, there's some blue. Okay, we want to hit our fourth land. Good. And now we want to hit him for some damage. Well, that's all we're doing right now. Alright, so now we have to be careful about a counter spell. Now we don't have to be careful about a counter spell. Offer the trade here. She won't take. And we'll get our world eater. <clears throat> All right. Still a four four. For four. Monstrouses for nine. That's a lot. All right, he disconnected. So I'll go ahead and pause the recording here, and we'll see if he comes back. All right, he reconnected and he attacked, um, which is fine. A flyer with first strike. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> yeah, so he's not going to untap. We can get this guy to block on the ground. And ship the turn, as they say. And that Hippogriff's a 3-2, so I can trade if he wants to flash a guy in. Or we'll do 2 damage. Um, and we'll get the... You could certainly have counterspell mana open, but he does not. Let's think about hitting f6 too. So I could, if I'd thought about it, I could tell he had f6 for my turn, just the way that the uh, attack went and stuff. So we know he's not sitting there with the counterspell. And he might be really flooded, is what he might be. So, I don't know, we'll just uh, be a little conservative here. Threaten something. But it's not looking good for him. He's playing a three color deck? My best guess is either he was really flooded or um, he was playing a three color deck and he didn't get his third color at all. We had a forest, two forests, time to feed. All right, well, that would have worked out okay actually because that would have gotten us pretty close to monstrous mana. So, cool. 2 uh, 0 so far, a quick second round, and I'll see you guys in the finals.